Hello, thank you for checking out my YouTube video today. Today's video, I want to talk about booting headless with my uh, motherboard project. Uh, mainly, every now and then I get an email from somebody who can't get their board to boot up when they uh, purchase it. And 100% of the time so far, it's been the video card, the, the graphics card, like, like this one. Um, and generally, it's either a bad card or their, their jumpers are wrong or their settings are wrong on their card. What happens is this, your, your typical VGA card has a uh, built-in BIOS that uh, is like a BIOS extension that the motherboard, the, the BIOS ROM on here picks up and initializes this. And then you're using the uh, graphics driver from here instead of from your motherboard. Uh, by default, if it doesn't find a card, it uh, kind of assumes it's got CGA or monochrome graphics because they did not have a built-in BIOS. Uh, and so it tries to initialize it. And where it gets hung up is the uh, processor is trying to wait for, a, a, I think it's the VSync. There's a little pause when it can insert code that we don't get CGA snow. And it sits there in a continuous loop, just going in circles, just waiting because it's trying to read something that's not there. So what I've done is I've made a headless uh, BIOS that it's, I wouldn't say it's something you wanna use every day for everything, but it uh, bypasses that loop. The CGA code's still there, but it bypasses that loop. So it, it probably won't work with a CGA card anymore, but I have found that it still will work with a, a VGA card in there. So I'm gonna demo what this does. Let's uh, turn the camera. So what happens is you plug it in, no video card. And we just sit here. So the light's on. If your light's not coming on, then you probably have a power supply issue. But you can see nothing's going on with the USB drive. So I'm going to pause for a second here and uh, show writing the code to the um, EEPROM. And then we'll go back to uh, this uh, booting it with the headless version of the, the BIOS. So to write to the ROM, I've got my uh, software here open. Um, and this is for my EEPROM writer here. I'd highly recommend that particular one. Um, I've selected the chip I'm using, the W29C020. Uh, you can just select here, you can type it in and select the chip you want. And then I'm going to open the headless uh, BIOS ROM. And because this is a 32K ROM, I'm going to put it at offset uh, 8000 because uh, I need it to sit in the top part of the 64K of ROM. Um, opened it. Now you can double check. You can kind of see there's some code there. And if you really want, you can get all the way to the bottom. Almost there. You can see right here is E8, jump far, and that's the end of the code there. So, and then we just simply just write it. Everything being checked out. And then uh, your auto exec on your uh, USB drive, it doesn't hurt because we're running this headless. We'll go CD space games. You, you just want to put in your uh, code to run. And this is like you're running without even a keyboard. And then we're going to just say PT for a paratrooper. And that's going to play some music over the PC speaker. And... Uh, to let us know it's running. So I'm going to save this and then we'll jump back to the board. Okay, so we're back over onto the board. I'm going to trade out the uh, standard BIOS chip with um, the headless version chip and plug it in and we'll turn it on. So no keyboard, no graphics. You can see the USB is initializing. It's going to think for a minute. You can hear a beep. And then you're going to see this 
start to load DOS. And because we put that uh, code in the auto exec, it'll start uh, Paratrooper. And there you go. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email. I'll put the uh, link for the uh, code in the description. Thanks for checking it out.